Okay, welcome back, guys. We are now going to pour a little bit of half a cup of water in our cabbage that we're frying. And I'm going to let you just sit right here and watch how we are going to go ahead and add the other ingredients to the fried cabbage that we're making today. So just stay tuned. We are here. We are moving and shaking. Now we're going to put our bacon inside of our cabbage. I like to use um, fresh bacon when I'm making my um, salads because it's not purchased out of the store in a bottle. I'm not saying some, that's some, it's something wrong with it. It's just that I like things to be freshly cooked when I'm making certain things for my family. It keeps everybody healthy. And so I'm going over here just to grab up the onion powder. I'm gonna put a little onion powder and I'm gonna take all of my other things over to the stove. So I don't have to keep moving back and forth because I've got to purchase me something that'll help me maneuver in the kitchen, you know? Cause right now I'm doing everything with one hand and Holding the phone up, trying to make sure everybody see what I'm doing. Right now, I'm adding my garlic powder. You can see that. That's going in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder. Even though we used uh, fresh onion or yellow onion, I still like to put a little bit of onion powder in my dishes. It heightens the fresh onion up a little bit more and brings out the uh, garlic powder. And then I want to add a little bit of crushed red pepper. Not too many because you don't want to blow everybody's taste buds out of the uh, socket. So I'm going to put a little bit of crushed red pepper in there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of, I wait on my Texas Pete. I'll put that in at the end. But in the meantime, I'm just going to let that cook. I'm going to cover it up. And then we'll be back to see what the finished product looks like. And at the end, we'll add a little bit of Texas Pete. Because again, that is my favorite uh, hot sauce to use. And our dish is done. And now we're just waiting on our baked chicken to get done and our beef stew. And that will be our Sunday meal completed. So, all right, subscribe to my channel. And oh, I'll be waiting to hear from you soon. And seeing what you think about my dish dishes. Oh, one other thing we want to add is a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. I don't want to forget that. See how e easy it is to leave something out if you're not careful? So you want to make sure you got everything lined up and placed in um, on your cabinet so you can add it to your ingredients to make your special delicious dish. Once this is done, you're going to love it. It looks like a lot of cabbage, but it's actually not a lot of cabbage because cabbage cooks down so fast. But it's going to be enough for everybody. Okay, stay tuned. I'll bring you the finished product. Thank you for coming into my home. Nico's Kitchen.